A federal agent is charged with murder in the death of 23-year-old Colin Elderts over the weekend. And tonight, Christopher Didi is free after posting $250,000 bail. Good evening, I'm Paula Akana. The U.S. State Department confirmed today Special Agent Christopher Didi was in Hawaii for the APEC convention. KITV4's Jody Leong spoke to an attorney for the victim's family who offered his explanation of what happened early Saturday morning. The medical examiner says 23-year-old Colin Elderts died of a single gunshot wound to the chest with injuries to his lung. The fatal shooting happened at the McDonald's restaurant on Cujillo Avenue early Saturday morning. Attorney Michael Green represents Elders' family in a potential civil suit. He says Elders and some friends were at the Chinatown bar Soho Friday night and that Elders and his best friend went to the Waikiki McDonald's after leaving the bar. Green says Elders was standing in line when 27-year-old Christopher Didi walked in with three friends. And what the witnesses say is that at one point, the agent who apparently appeared very intoxicated asked my client if he'd like to get shot and everybody was stunned. Green says Didi kicked Elders in the chest, causing Elders to fall to the ground. He got up, they grabbed each other, and there were three shots fired. Green says one shot hit Elders in the chest, the second bullet hit the ceiling. It isn't clear where the third bullet landed. Police arrested Didi, a special agent with the U.S. State Department's Bureau of Diplomatic Security. He was in, uh, in Hawaii on State Department business. Yes, to support protection of uh, dignitaries for APEC. Honolulu Civil Beat's Washington, D.C. reporter Adrian LaFrance questioned the State Department, which says Didi is on paid administrative leave. You know, you're talking about the United States of America and one of their employees, and you're talking about just a local family who lost a 23-year-old son. If he's responsible for the murder, you just don't walk away from it because he's a federal agent. We're not going to let that happen. Jody Leon, KITV4 News. Didi is charged with second-degree murder and the use of a firearm in the commission of a felony. He is out on bail and not required to remain in Hawaii. His initial court appearance is set for November 17th.